Okay, so before we get into the video today, I just wanted to preface this by saying the techniques you're about to see are by no means the right way to do it. Um, the right way to do it would be using a TIG welder um, and, you know, all that professional equipment, but I'm poor and I can't afford that professional equipment, so I got to work with what I have. And that's why I used my flux core welder and I found flux core stainless steel wire. The results are decent. Uh, with more experience, I could probably get better results, but uh, it's by no means as good as a TIG welder would result in. And on top of that, I'm also an inexperienced welder. So the results you're about to see are mediocre. So with that being said, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so today we are starting working on the Subaru's new catback exhaust system. So as you probably seen from the last drag racing video, the old catback's already off. Uh, make it easy for me to just start on it today. Uh, we're gonna get some stuff welded up. I'm gonna try to get the three inch section done. So from the downpipe back to the axle today, and then I'll do the rest another day. But without further ado, let's get into it. So what I got here so far is mainly I got this Vibrant Performance. It's a three inch ultra quiet resonator. Uh, so this will make sure that the car is not raspy like it is when it's straight piped. Uh, and then I also bought some 90 degree bends. And this is all stainless too. Um, and then I have this 4 foot straight section of stainless steel pipe. And a down pipe flange. And then there's just some tools in there. But that's pretty much what I got going right now. Then I got my old exhaust out here so that I can kind of... Uh, I guess get an idea of what kind of bends I'm going for but um, just to explain to you what I'm doing from here back to here is gonna be three inch and then I'm gonna have the resonator right where the resonator is now and then I'm gonna put a three inch v-band right here and then I'm gonna figure out how to get uh, two and a, two two and a half inch pipes to collect out of that v-band and then split off into two two and a half inch mufflers on each side, which is also gonna be vibrant performance mufflers. And uh, everything's a straight through design, meaning it's just like the resonator where you look through the center and you can just see straight through it, it's just baffling. So the resonator's straight through, and then the mufflers are also gonna be a straight through design. So it shouldn't be too loud, but it should sound pretty crisp and clear. Um, not too raspy, uh, but it should have a good note to it. So it looks like the first section that I'm gonna be dealing with is a very like three inch pieces straight on the flange and then a slight bend and then another slight bend just to kick it around the carrier bearing which goes right here i need to find out what angle that is so i can chop some pieces off that 90 uh, and figure out what size it is and then we got the dog here yep <laughs> okay so first cut that i'm going to make is going to be a seven centimeter cut on this straight pipe um and that's going to come off the flange from the downpipe. And then I think I'm going to, I don't have it around here, but I have a 90 and I'm going to cut that in half. So I'll have two 45s so that I can weld it to here and then do a little section of straight and then weld the other 45 to bend it around the drive shaft's carrier bearing. So let me just get this first cut done. Alright, so I got the, the weld, or the I got the pipe cut, so this is going to be the first weld I'm going to do onto this flange. So I use these nuts right here to space the uh, pipe up halfway up the, um, halfway up the flange so that I can come back in later and weld the inside up too. Um, so I got that there and I just need to make sure it's spaced around here because this is kind of oblong. So I got it tacked up. You can see in there that there's the like quarter inch gap so I can weld in the inside too. Uh, and then I got my four tacks around the edges. It's nothing pretty, but uh, if it doesn't leak, that's all it needs. And I got some good penetration in there too, so. All right, so ignore the welds because they're terrible, but that uh, flange was hard to weld thin steel onto without it blowing through. 
But um, there's that. I'm gonna clean up those welds, grind them down. I welded on the inside, but they're really bad too. So I'm gonna grind those down so there's no uh, turbulence. But that comes out just like that. Okay, and then hopefully I can show you this. But I took one of those 90s that I had and I cut it in half. So I have two 45s now. And um, the pipe needs to route down the driver's side of the uh, drive shaft. So if I put this half of the 45, or this 45 right here, and this one right here, you could see that when the pipe comes straight, it would still hit the uh, carrier bearing right there. But if I put like a two or three inch spacer here, it'll get this in the right spot to just route right down where it's supposed to go to the resonator and stuff. So right now I'm just gonna take a measurement of what I exactly length I need, and then I'll cut that piece weld it to here um, and then weld it together and then I'll be ready to put however much straight I need to put where the resonator needs to go and then we can keep going with from there all right so this is what we got so far uh, I kind of overestimated my welding capabilities so the welds ain't too pretty so I'm gonna have to do a lot of grinding and stuff to uh, get it looking okay but uh, you know how they say grinding paint makes me the welder I ain't so we're just gonna do that. But now I can get to figure out how much straight section I need after this bend to get to the next bend. So I'm gonna go back down there to the car, measure it up, cut a piece of straight out and start welding it together. Alright, so this is what we got right now. I got this straight piece welded on. <clears throat> now we need to go back underneath the car, bolt this back up again, and then figure out what angle the uh, 45 needs to be at so that we could weld it onto the end and then finish up the rest of that stuff from there. Okay, so there's what we got so far. It's not, I mean, the welds are ugly, but we can fix that. Other than that, it's not too bad. And then, let me grab the bend. Not bad. So, let me switch hands so you guys can see. So with that 90 on there, you can see that it's gonna come out straight back. Maybe aim it a little up, but let's see. That should work. It goes around the carrier bearing, there's enough room high to low not too low and then i need to run it probably four inch pipe into the resonator which is going to sit right there so i'm going to mark this up and then pull it out and weld it all right so here's what we got i just tacked it up a little bit so that i can because i may need to like grind it flat so that it goes actually straight back i think it's a it has a few degrees too much angle um, so i'm going to go back down there and check it as well as Measure to see how much more straight I need to go into the resonator. All right, so the piece that needs to go into the resonator needs to be 16.2 centimeters. So I marked it and now I'm going to cut it. Okay. 
So hopefully you guys can see this, but um, this pipe right here is cut at an angle. Uh, it's what is it? It's a two degree angle, uh, and I did that so it could adjust slightly from this main piece so that I could fit the uh, resonator on in the right spot. So these are going to go on like so, and then the resonator is going to slip on this end right here. And then after the resonator, it should be a pretty decent length of straight section, so that'll be easy to get done. Uh, so I just gotta tack this up, then I'm gonna double check, make sure it fits, and then I'm gonna come back through, weld both of these sections right here. So this is it tacked on. Now I just need to go back down there and double check the fitment, and then I'll show you guys me running the beads along this part right here. As you can see it comes off and now it's straight and I'll put the resonator on and then I'm going to see how much extra length I need to go through here because the exhaust is going to come right here curve and then I'm going to put my collector right here I believe okay so I took a break for a second from filming to figure out my welding because I'm not going to get you too close but uh, those ones don't look too good and I needed to figure out how to weld it to where it looks good so I did a little better on this one and then this one's not too bad uh, I still need to clean it up but it's a lot more consistent it's not bumpy or anything so it's not the most beautiful weld ever but it's definitely better than those ones are because those ones you can see where I like started and stopped and it didn't blend in very well so as long as it doesn't leak that's fine but I'm more interested in the back section looking better because that's gonna be what you're able to see when you look at it from the back of the car. So I'm trying to get progressively better as I move back. But uh, I got the resonator on and uh, this piece of straight section right here. Now when it's under the car, I'm gonna have to put like a 45 right here and then have a little piece of straight and then another 45. Okay, so I went and test fitted this again underneath the car and um, it kind of routes pretty close to the drive shaft right here. And then where the drive shaft connects to the differential, it's, it's even closer. So there's room like underneath the car and like the heat shield kind of kicks off to a so the side because that's what the stock exhaust does. So I'm just going to cut it right here and then add like maybe a 20 degree bend into it to just kick the straight section out a little bit that way. And then, uh, then I can just weld this piece back on and then do what I just said I was going to do before, just with an extra bend right in there. Okay, so that sliver that I cut to make that bend seems to be about the right size. It's hard to tell when you're trying to hold three pieces together underneath the car. So I just welded it to this piece that's gonna go towards the back so that it's all one piece. And then I could see if I could rotate it in some way to make it fit up good. And then if I have to, it'll be easier to trim off a little bit of this wedge when it's connected to this big piece of pipe instead of just being that tiny little wedge. So I got that one welded up. Mind you, the weld's not clean yet, but uh, I'm gonna go down underneath the car again, double check fit up, see if I need to grind it down some more or see if it's ready to weld, and then I can pull the other stuff out and weld it to this as well. So that piece does need a little bit of trimming, so I'm gonna do that in a second, but um, I'm going to fire the car up with just the resonator to see how it sounds, see if it's good enough to drive home that way. Um, and I got the flange fully tightened down, so there shouldn't be any exhaust leaks, but I'm gonna fire it up and see what it sounds like. Yeah, that's a lot better. This is a cold start, mind you. I'm gonna check for some exhaust leaks. Okay, so it's a little warm now. Let's go to a little rev, see what it sounds like. Yeah, 
it's a lot better. I don't think I'll get a ticket this way at least, so there's that. Yeah, not bad. Okay, so that's gonna be it for part one of the exhaust video. Um, part two, we're gonna start working on, I guess you'd call it the axle back, but the part that comes after the three inch. So I have been driving it around with this so far and I just welded a turn down to the bottom of it. Um, and I really like the way it sounds, but uh, evidently it's too loud and I've been getting unwanted attention from law enforcement. So we are going to continue finishing this and making it a little bit quieter. So stay tuned for part two. Thank you for watching the video today. If you liked it, please leave a like down below. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. If you aren't subscribed, please consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.